have a wonderful story this morning about a sled dog named May. She went MIA earlier this month, slipping away from the Iditarod race and triggering a frantic search for her in frigid weather. Gone for a week, there were several sightings, but the pooch always bolted whenever anyone got close. But in the immortal words of GMA's Josh Elliott, everyone is okay. <laughs> <laughs> ABC's John Shriven. Different is here. Good words to go by Dan Viani. Good morning yeah. to you both. Now, if you're not familiar, the Iditarog dogs are not your average pets. They're more like marathon runners trained to travel long distances. But the last week and a half for May, a nine-year-old veteran of the legendary race through Alaska, has been a harrowing journey. The Iditarod is one of the most grueling races in the world. To have the best team possible, Jamaican musher Newton Marshall was loaned May, a strong lead dog to guide the sled through the snow and frigid conditions. The guy who I used to work with said, it's going to be a thousand mile dog sled race. And I said, come on. But just days into the up to two week race, Marshall got into trouble when his sled tangled with another competitor. I held me um, on our tug on the harness and she was excited so she jumped hard enough and just got loose out of my hand. Marshall says he searched for seven hours but couldn't go very far because he had to take care of his 13 other dogs. I was just very nervous and frightened. I lost my dog. What happened to her? And I started crying. It's believed May first took off towards the next checkpoint in Nikolai. Then backtrack to the starting line, passing through Ron, climbing the Alaska Range, through the treacherous rainy pass spotted several times along the way. Then nearly 400 miles and seven days later, she was finally caught, only 40 miles from where the race started and nearly 50 miles from where May lives with her owners, Anna Bondarenko and Jim Lanier. She's a very determined little girl. So how did May survive in the wilderness on her own? Even if they don't have water, they can eat some snow. I doubt if she found any food. The frail pooch was found on the trail and handed over to the owner's neighbor, Stan Smith, who's pampering her paws until Anna and Jim return home. It's absolutely beyond a miracle that, that she survived this. What a pretty great story. Now, because May took off and was not found in time, her team had to withdraw from the race. But the happy and emotional reunion with her owners will take place tomorrow. She's like, what I miss? Right, exactly. <laughs> All right, John, thanks.